Oh, that's close. Oh, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another pottery video. I'm John the Potter. Thanks so much for joining me in my studio today. I have a special video for you today. We're talking about a glaze hack. Or it's not a glaze hack. It's ridiculous. It's not a glaze hack. It's a kiln loading hack. The number one kiln loading hack. You ready for it? All right. So, what is this video? We're talking about loading a bisque kiln. And so, if you do pottery or you know you pottery, you know that when you load a bisque kiln, things can touch each other, right? Like if you have them like this, or you like have them like this, and you fire it up to like what we're gonna fire this to is cone 06, then they can touch and they'll still come apart. But when they have glaze on them, then if they're touching, then the glaze will attach to itself and it then will be like fused together. And that's no bueno, no good. So the best and most efficient way to load a bisque kiln is to actually not use any kiln shelves or kiln posts or kiln furniture or anything, but to just tumble stack it. So you're actually just like putting a mug here and then you're putting a mug here and then you're putting a mug here and then you're putting a mug here all the way up so that you totally use every little part of the kiln. Whew. And it's much safer to do it in the kiln than it is to do it in my hands. So that's what this video is about. We're gonna get to loading. We have all these mugs right here, which is like not that much of what we have. And then we also have all of these mugs over here too. And all these like planters up here too. Should be enough to really fill it up pretty well. If not, we have a few things that are drying pretty good, so. Okay, this is Future John now, and I just wanted to say shout out to our sponsor of this video, Mako Colors. You've seen so many of, I've been using pretty much all Mako glazes, and man, it is so fun. They have amazing colors, those crystals in the speckles, like in the winter wood and sandstone and aurora green. It's, there's nothing like it. There is nothing like it. So if you haven't, check them out. Check out all their sweet colors. And uh, thank you guys so much for sponsoring this video. friends so we got this thing loaded and you can see like that was a ton of mugs I should have counted how many mugs were in there but it was at least like I don't know it was a ton of mugs plus planters plus a couple big bowls so I mean if you were to stack shelves like this probably will fill up three glaze kilns so you can see how efficient it is to really tumble stack and stack as much as you can and get as much in there it's super efficient to not use the posts to not use the shelves and to just use 
the mugs as pieces. And so for a long time, I was scared that like the weight of it would break, but the stuff is really strong. If, you, if you're if you an experienced potter, an experienced thrower, and the stuff is really dry, that's probably the most important thing, is that you make sure that the pots that are going in there are really bone dry because you do not want anything exploding in there because obviously you think if a bottom one explodes that they all come tumbling down as they well, one might say. You could see I could even get a little bit more in there but I don't have any more stuff so you can jam pack this thing that's why this kiln is really good for that I like having this second kiln that's really short and wide so we can just jam it full packed and then I use that my other one for for glazes. I did do a glaze kiln in this one too but they are they're all good. Cone fire, oh, six, enter, speed, slow, enter, hold, zero, enter, start. And that is how you tumble stack and fill a kiln efficiently. And I left my, my GoPro, I left my GoPro in the kiln. Holy smokers. <gasps> I would have really hated if I would have just melted my GoPro. I left my, I would have really hated if I would have just melted my GoPro. <sighs> yep, that would have been a bummer. Got it though. <sighs> Sorry little buddy, I almost melted you. <laughs> that would have been, that would have been something. Should that be the title of this video? I almost melted my GoPro. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I love all you subscribers, all you patrons. Shout out to everyone on the Patreon page that supports us over there. You guys keep the channel moving forward. Wanna say shout out to the sponsor of this video, Mako Colors. So thanks so much, shout out to Mako for sponsoring this video, for helping me in making these videos possible. So thanks so much, shout out to Mako. All right, if you haven't already, subscribe, like, comment, share, all the things, Patreon, Instagram. In the meantime, keep on potting and go on an adventure. See you in the next one.